Hey guys, so I'm coming back with a new word from the Lord. Um, I was supposed to deliver it since Sunday, but <clears throat> things got in the way. Okay, the Lord wants you to trust in Him. He wants you to believe in what He has told you. The conversation was between you and Him. And he has given you many signs that no one will ever be convinced of un until they will see the promise coming to pass. Believe in what God told you. Stick by his word because what he says is the truth, is the ultimate truth. Hold on to his dress. In the word it says, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness in God's sight. He catches the wise in their craftiness. In 1 Corinthians 3 verse 19. God had a, has a relationship with you. He has given you the signs that you only will consider as sign. It's not a a and b and c conversation of course it won't add up to someone else of course it won't convince the other person or your even but your closest friend it won't it won't remember what happened to elijah when god told him that it's going to rain when we got when he got out he saw the sky the sky was so blue there was like no proof that it's going to rain I think he saw just one cloud. I don't remember and all of the story, but no one believed him because the sun was the, the sun was shining, the sky was blue, so there was no possible way that it might rain. And but God told him that it might rain. God had a personal relationship with him. I'm gonna go further. Remember what happened with Gideon? <clears throat> If Gideon had told his friends that God gave him a sign about water that would dry up or something, I forgot. Like he remember when Gideon asked God for signs according to the mission that God had for him, and God gave him like I think three signs that might have looked very random and very boring. Like if it had if it had happened to me, I would tell someone, "Oh, God told God gave me a sign." I asked God to dry my plant just as a sign that, you know, it's going to happen. And the next day, I'm like, God, please moist my plant. And then God moist the plant. And then you would tell it to someone that, you know, who is close to you. That person will be like, it doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. But remember, it's between you and God. So, of course, it won't add up to your friend. Of course, it won't make sense to your friend. But God told you it was between you and God. That's why it's a personal relationship with God. God told you it will come to pass. God has told you this is the career you're going to go. This is your Boaz. This is the house you're going to live in. This is where you're going to travel to. This is the next step. God has shown you, shown you so many times. God has given you so many confirmation, but no one will believe it. No one will be convinced no one else and it doesn't even matter because these people they're just here to see the glory of god of course they would be caring about you like you know they don't want you to be delusional <laughs> of course but god has said it for wisdom of this world is foolishness in god's sight so do not be worried to look delusional in this world because god's wisdom is delusional to the world so do not be afraid to walk by faith and not by sight. Do not be afraid because that's what God wants. Because God wants to show to the world that what he says, regardless of whatever thing that you, that you are seeing, is going to happen in Jesus' name. All right? So do not worry. Stick to his word. Stick to what he tells you. Stick. Do not let go. Do not doubt because doubt will come. Because when God tells you something, you better keep it shut. But I'm not going to doubt. Because I know God's word is the utmost truth. 
the real truth. There is nothing in this world that stands in front of the word of the Lord, the creator of this universe. All right? So guys, this is my word for you. If God gives you a word, if God gives you something, tells you something, do not doubt. Do not let people put doubts in your head. Kill what God has given you. Because God, if he wants to make a miracle happen, he wants your faith to be activated. So keep your faith activated. Do not listen to doubts around you. Do not listen to anything that's around you that would break, that would try to break the seed that God had planted in you. It may look, the seed may look like very ridiculous. The seed or whatever promise, whatever sign that he had given you, that for you makes sense, but the world it won't make sense. But you have to believe. You have to stick to what he told you because it's a relationship between you and him. Between you and him. You only know what he tells you. You only know. So believe. Believe. Believe in what he tells you. And keep going. Even if there is going to be a storm. Even if all around you will crumble. And you, you will see that there is no possible ways that it will happen. When God tells you that he will make it happen, he will make it happen. And I believe, and if, even if I don't see it, I believe. I believe that he will make it happen. So guys, this is my word of encouragement. Keep believing. Keep holding Jesus' garment because he will heal you. He will change you. He will, he will make you get to the promise he will make you move he will make you pass that door that was closed and you could not reach by yourself he will make you get married he will make you reach get that career he will get you that to that ministry he will get you to that child that you're trying to have he will get you to have that house that you were dreaming of he will get you to have that family he will get you to that he will he will bring you to that healing all right? Trust in him. He will make the way. He will make the way. And you know what? Consider all the obstacles. Consider your friends. Con well, not your friends. Consider what your friends tell you. Consider what your family tells you. Consider what um, their circumstances all around you. Consider all of these things as challenges against your faith. As actually test for your faith you need to be you you need to have your faith tested you need to have your faith tested because god wants to take you to another dimension another dimension where your faith will be unshakable so please hold on to that promise because if he wants to make that miracle happen for you you need to have that faith activated it has to be activated so you could see. And so any, any unbelievers around you see the glory of God in your life. So this is my word for you today. I'm not going to stay long. Be blessed. I love you. Mwah.